I will call this meeting to order of the Board of Selectmen at 7 o'clock p.m. on April 21st, 2022. This meeting is being recorded and live streamed. And one thing that I haven't done yet that I should do is we do have a full quorum. Richard Grimless, Andrew Allard, and myself, Jennifer Gale, are all present, as well as Peter Crusoe, our town administrator. So I didn't print the agenda. I just have open over here. So first item on the agenda is to finalize and approve the town meeting warrant. So do you want me to just share my screen and we can walk through it? I mean, we did this whole walk through last time, so I think it'll go faster. I thought that might be better. Okay. Alex, can you make it so I can share my screen, please? All set. Great. Thank you. Can everyone see my screen? Yep. yep. Great. All right. So town meeting warrant, May 9th, seven o'clock at the Millville Elementary School. Okay. So article one, monetary increases. This is a standard article one. Article two, bills of fiscal, prior fiscal year. And I think Peter, we just have still those two kind of ticky tack ones. That's right. That's all we know about. One's less than seven thousand for uh, assessing software license, and the other is just under nine hundred bucks for uh, planning board services from CMRPC. If we have any more, those will be included in the motion. Okay. But none are known at this point. Okay. And um, Andrew and Richard, I'm just gonna like pause after each one. But if you wanna jump in on any, let me know. But I'll go slow. So if you have a comment or anything. Article three, snow and ice. So this is, we have to pay this bill. So but we'll transfer probably from available free cash. Okay. Highway department chapter 90. This is also kind of a standard um, article. Right. Article five, cable and license fees. This is so we can do things just like we're doing this evening. Article six, the budget, which um, we've gone over in detail quite a few times. So this will be like the big article that people want to discuss. Right, and finance committee is having a meeting next uh, Wednesday night or Thursday, Thursday night by Zoom where they'll go over the budget again. Then they have their uh, public hearing on May 2nd. May 2nd, when our board of selectmen meeting is? I mean, May 4th, excuse me. Oh, okay. May 2nd. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, article seven, so purchase of St. Augustine Church property. Right, so that's the same basic thing. It's just been uh, uh, adapted a little bit for uh, legal wording from council and does not include a dollar amount in the warrant article. Any dollar amount should this move forward would uh, be done in the motion. Okay. So mm. with this one, I'm okay leaving it for now because there's just so many moving parts. I would hate to take it off. And then we're like, wait, this just came about and it's amazing. And then we're like, shucks, special town meeting, July 2nd. That'll be fun. <laughs> Right. So if you uh, so the question is whether you want to discuss this further in executive session or just go with what you're talking about and, you know, firm it up further when you get to uh, your May 2nd meeting, which you can conceivably do this keeps it there. It's the proper wording. The motion allows for any amount should there actually be action taken and presumably by uh, town meeting and uh, even possibly May 2nd will uh, you'll know more to have some further discussions, which you can do in executive session. The other piece of it was, I know you had, uh, had was still plan you were still planning to do some, get a survey out, and the survey would also provide some sentiment of the voters to this type of, uh, uh, you know, action of this article. So I don't know if you were ready to finalize that, but you could do that, I think, w within the agenda tonight in relation to this article discussion item yeah i think that's there i think the only well let's we'll come to the um if we, if we can cover the survey i just think i had one question i hadn't looked at it in a little bit um to add one question but let's 
let's do the article and then we can finish. Okay. I do think we want executive session, even if to just to go in and say, yeah. like we, it might be a two minute discussion. Sounds good. Since we have it, I think we should leverage it. Yeah. Okay. Article eight is um, OPEB. So we have a commitments or liability to fund post-employment benefits. So we try to, well, once we get free cash and all that, then we can decide the amount. Is that the course of action, Peter? That's correct. Okay. Likewise in the next two articles. Yeah, the only thing I'll just add for our stabilization, capital stabilizations, we can keep, typically keep that at about 200,000. I think it's down like around 40-ish. So probably put 40,000 in there and then the rest will go into general stabilization. Um, Article 11 is unnecessary, I believe, Peter, if Article 6 is approved. This is OPEB for the school. That's correct. You recall in the budget uh, that we, you currently have and which hasn't changed so far, um, there's an OPEB contribution included in the operating budget of Article 6. And it's actually at the rate of uh, 200,000. So there's roughly 48,000 and some change in the budget for that. So. If the voters approve that budget totally, uh, Article 11 will be unnecessary and you can take no action on it. Okay. Article 12 is school committee stipends for the BMR school committee. Article 13 is a bylaw update for Council on Aging and has the updates that we discussed. Article 14 is cable appropriations again, so we can do things like we're doing tonight. And then Article 15 is to amend the town bylaws for personnel. And this, I'll turn it over to Peter because I know he worked with a consultant on this. Yep, so this is principally the wording that the consultant provide looking at our personnel bylaw chapter 20. This is, uh, you know, in the explanation that will be provided to voters um we'll we'll talk about this as you know current best practice uh it does require and you'll see in the wording of 20.1 it does require sort of a you know requirement for uh the board of selectmen to approve the policy and in that policy would include the uh classification and compensation plan which is identified in 20.2 g um and if this as you recall, uh, this was on the uh, this was on the draft warrant. Or this was on the warrant uh, for the special town meeting that was never held. It was uh, supported, uh, not 100 percent, by the board of selectmen, and it was not supported by the finance committee. So you'll see that uh, we've added uh, Article 16 in case Article 15 fails. And then, so should Article 15 not pass, then as Peter just mentioned, we need to update our table, which we have not been diligent about. So then this would mean we'd have to have this table. That's right. In the bylaws. And this needs to be updated annually. Well, so the so it 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 should be updated annually. It's there's not the bylaws don't have that specific requirement that I recall. Okay. Um, but in any event, it's easy to update. It's fairly straightforward, so it probably should be. What you see there is basically um, the rates from the uh, one that's currently in the bylaws updated for the 2% increases and then the 3% increase for this upcoming fiscal year. Um, okay. Yeah, added in building inspector. Those subject to employment contract, if you actually look at the bylaws, those are uh not applicable to the compensation plan if there's an employment contract so that's in your existing bylaws okay and then give me to the hands 21st blah 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 so then we sign seven copies and it gets posted and the end that's right so it would require you to sign it uh, over the weekend or latest you know mid monday morning mm -hmm because it has to go out and get posted by the constable on Monday. Yep. So I'll probably go by like first thing Monday morning, like 9 a.m. Yep. So you there are see me. Seven, yep, seven copies of this as you currently see it in the drawer in a folder in that okay. uh, little cabinet. And then Peter, is it, are we still doing just the chair can sign or? No, I or think can we make it, a motion. 
yeah you're gonna you're gonna you, you, however you want to do that is fine you mm -hmm. you can do it that way or you can two or three of you go in and sign uh sometimes it's difficult to actually physically get there to sign so yeah. i think that's your prerogative okay it got to be done done by um business hour computer no I'm business Monday? hours no, you can go in. You have, you have a fob, right? Don't you? So you can go in through the vestibule. I don't. Oh, you don't? I thought she gave you one. Okay. No. So yeah, uh, business hours on Monday if you can do it. Okay. I'm not trusted yet. I'm still a junior person. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should get that right no, away. You should get that. Yeah, that's, I thought a, you, that's an oversight. Set you up on that one. No, yeah. thank, otherwise, I would uh, just zip right down and sign that. Right. Right. Yeah. So I guess. Um, so I can definitely get there first thing Monday morning. Andrew and Richard, can you get there first thing Monday morning too? Or if you can't, yeah. we can, you can? Yeah, okay. that should be fine. It, it, it'd be easier to come and go as I please, if, but I can do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably and, swing by sometime Friday or Saturday. Okay, sounds good. And then, so then we'll just, we won't do any kind of signature where we um, vote to approve. We can just make it, you know, we accept the award for posting. Um, but any concerns from Richard and Andrew? Like, I, I think the warrant's good. We've been looking at it for a few meetings now. I'm very comfortable with everything that's here. Like I said, the only thing that would be um, Article 7, we might um, remove at the time of town meeting if we get other information between now and then. Um, and then same thing with 15 and 16. I think everything else is fine. Yeah, no objections here. Yeah, I don't have any objections. Um, I do have one small question. Um, is the uh, finance committee with Article 15, um, have they given it up or down or do we know what they're thinking? So they, they won't vote on these until uh, they have their public hearing. Okay. Okay. And you're, you'll be slated to vote May 2nd for your recommendations. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you might uh, like I think in the previous uh, town meeting, I think uh, there was some sentiment on the board and you, the board decided to not uh, vote yay or nay or support of recommendation of the um, Article 6, the, the omnibus budget, until after Finance Committee had uh, voted on it. So you may not vote on that one on May 2nd if you're following prior practice. That's all. You may choose to not vote on it. Okay. Yeah, I think that the issue, and um, Andrew, I don't know if you noticed at the last Board of Selectmen meeting, what I said, I think the issue that the Finance Committee had was a bylaw change being at a special town meeting, and Claudette uh, Poulin, who's on the Finance Committee, was nodding her head. So I think they were just like, I don't, this shouldn't even be on here because it's a special town meeting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was just making, kind of just wondering. She was, so I think that now this time it'll be like, do they think this is a good idea or not? Before it was like, this doesn't belong here because it's a special town meeting. So that was kind of the okay. top topic. Um, and that's actually one the question that fell off our survey. Because I wanted to see like if people were comfortable, like, you know, Peter and I are very alike in this, and I'm like, you know, let's just get it done. Let's ask the question. People are like, no, special town meeting is done this way, and annual town meeting is done this way. And I'm like, no, <laughs> let's just keep moving. Stop slowing me down. Um, but if people in town are like, no, I want special town meeting for exceptions, and annual town meeting is where big business is done, you know, then that's how we'll operate. I'm here, you know, I, I feel very passionate about doing what I think the majority of people want to see not even though it's it will pay me <laughs> to be like oh we could move this faster but if that's how people in town want things done then I think it's our duty to execute things the way that most people in Millville want things done so that um I'll make those updates and send the survey around again but that's the that's um what I wanted to add back in as a question around the process around town meetings. How would you like to see us manage and organize town meetings? Right, and, and the, the warrant is entirely up to the Board of Selectmen. Yeah. There are no you know, bylaws that tell you what you can or can't have in a special town meeting or the, the annual town meeting. 
And just as Jen said, you know, the key is in some of the matters that were brought forth in the special town meeting, like this article, it was really just trying to do the business of the town. And yep. Do it if, uh, when it's available to be done. That's all. Yeah. Keep it moving. Because, um, like being in the private sector, like things just move so much faster. It's just it's very different. It's very different. That's all. <laughs> okay. So looking for a motion to approve the warrant for the May 9th town meeting uh, for posting and distribution. So moved. Thank you, Andrew. Looking for a second. I'll second. Thank you, Richard. Any dis further discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Richard, you're at the top of my screen. Aye. Andrew? Aye. And Jennifer is aye. Okay, great. So get um, everyone needs to sign, let's say before 10 a.m. on Monday. And then the constable, because they have to post it in seven places. I remember it was like at George's, I think somewhere else it was, okay. All right, well, since I have my screen open, let me just go to the agenda we can share, okay. Um, public comment? Andrew, is there anyone? I'm sorry, not Andrew, Alex, is there anyone on? I do that all the time. Is there anyone on who wants to ask a question or has a comment or? Uh, no, I don't have any comments. Okay. And if I could just, uh, uh, agenda item three, there are no items within 48 okay. hours to bring forward tonight, just to go on the record on that. Thank you, Peter. I'm sorry, I blew right past that. I just missed it, even though it's literally right in front of my face. Um, okay. <laughs> So next meeting is May 2nd, and we'll do signatures as we discussed before 10 a.m. on Monday. Um, so I'll read the motion then to enter executive session. So I move that the Board of Selectmen enter an executive session by roll call. Move that the Board of Selectmen enter an executive session per Massachusetts General Law C-30A, Section 21A-6, to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property if the chair declares that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of the town, only returning to open session to adjourn. Looking for a second. Second. Thank you, Andrew. Any discussion? So all those in favor, roll call vote. Richard? Aye. Andrew? Aye. Jennifer is aye. Okay.